This is the question. Are there differences in behavior traits or skill sets depending on the shape of the UAP? For example, is a tic tac different from a disc or an orb different from a triangle? Are there or are they maybe all from the same source or do they seem completely different? Are there differences? Well, they, 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 well, they're, they're clearly there are differences, um, but they, they may be utilizing the same or similar technologies. And the, the difference between a disc versus a rod, or, or if you will, a, a cigar shaped, uh, uh, and that versus a triangular, or even a boomerang, may simply be a result of the propulsion. Uh, that is being used and the intent and purpose of the vehicle. So, for example, um, if I wanted a sports car, uh, if I, for example, let's let's say that that the warping of space time in a localized area is is um, is finite. Um, let's say you have this bubble that can only be so big. Uh, let's just for argument's sake, let's say forty three feet. Um, you can only fit a, a, a certain size automobile inside that bubble. A vehicle right and so uh, a disc if you were to have this bubble right uh, and you were to take the the create a car uh, that this this bubble is surrounding you on all equal sides um, the shape of, of the car you would want to make sure that you are uniformly fitting inside this bubble is a sphere because a bu the bubble is a sphere but a, a two-dimensional representation is a disc and if you're driving in a car that's shaped like a disc in this bubble you want to protect you on all sides equally uh, a disc would be a perfect way to 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 do that. So think of a let's say a, a Corvette. You can fit two people in a Corvette, and you can, you know, go really fast. Um, but let's say uh, a Corvette isn't big enough. Let's say you need a school bus. You need you need a lot of people to fit in and a lot of equipment. Well, you could put two of these these discs together and have these 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 if you will overlapping bubbles. But but two discs together are is really you could just draw the line completely. You have now a cigar that those two discs. You could have a propulsion unit here and a propulsion unit here. And now all of a sudden you've got these two bubbles that are still protecting you equally. Right. And then, of course, there's another shape in geometry that if you needed something really big, really, really big, uh, like an aircraft carrier, uh, you let's say a triangle. Right. So. So, you know what? I'll, I'll let me show you something real quick. So yeah. um, let's say uh, this little I don't know if you can see that here, that that is your that yeah. is your 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 the, your disc and you've got this bubble surrounding your disc okay now okay, let's say yeah. you put another 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 uap here okay and so now you have these interlocking bubbles so so here is here is the two but really those two what you can do is is draw a line between them and now you have that right so now you have this 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 cigar looking vehicle where you have a propulsion unit here uh, on this side and a propulsion unit over here. There's another right. shape in geometry. Think of a three-legged stool that if I go out 90 degrees from the middle here and I right. put another propulsion unit here like that, okay, what that is in essence is nothing more than a triangle, right? And so oh, now you have the propulsion man. Unit here, you have one here, you have one up Guys, here. do you see that? And now what you have are, think of a three-legged stool. You have propulsion units providing you equally all over the ship. And that's maybe why these triangles are so big. And uh, that's one of the one of the hypotheses. So, uh, this the reason is why this by is far the coolest thing I've heard in <laughs> weeks. <laughs> well, well, that's it's it's speculation right now, but that's it seems to be... Uh, you know, if you look at the principles of 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 uh, the type of energy needed to create these bubbles, uh, wow. you know, you want to. There's an old saying in the Navy: How many nuclear reactors do you put on a ship? Well, the answer is as few as possible, because if something okay. goes wrong with it, the whole thing, you know, your bubble pops. Yeah, yeah. So. yeah but this makes so much sense. You know, uh, it's it's like they they are uh, uh, able to merge, but also, <laughs> you know, move separately for certain. Uh, uh, jobs or something. Well, but, some of the you know, lights this... that people see, the flashing lights, actually may be a Doppler shift. So if you take this this again and you look at that, um, yeah. depending how much, if you will, juice, how, how strong that bubble is, potentially that will redshift, blue shift light and, and, and energy. So what you perceive as a green light or a red light or a yellow light 
may in fact be a, a result of those propulsion. If, it, if this is the case, if these are propulsion units, uh, yeah. uh, what you're seeing is a distortion in that in that energy, and you're you're getting these these interesting colors uh, going back and forth, and so that that may be you know one of the explanations um, that that people yeah. have been been throwing around.